Hey there, good morning, early morning. It's all about this. Um, what's your story? What's the story behind it? Whether it's a product that you're selling or if it's uh, an idea that you're selling as messengers, a lot of times, we're on, whether it's on stage or in a video, we have an idea that we're selling. Sorry about the announcement in the background. So what's the story behind it? I love the story behind this. Um, back in the 15th century, the bubonic plague was huge in Europe and like a quarter of Europe died because of it. It was so infectious. Um, but these thieves, there was four thieves who were going around stealing uh, all the, the belongings of the people who were infected. They were burying people uh, with who had the bubonic plague and they were burying them and these four thieves were stealing the bodies, uh, stealing all the belongings. So I, I'm doing a horrible job telling this story, but I love this story. So these four thieves um, were finally caught and they were asked as to how they didn't get sick, how they didn't catch this because it was highly infectious. And so the thieves smartly said, well, we'll tell you if uh, you let us go free and you spare our lives. So they did. And the trick of it was, or their magic was, they had a potion, they're perfumers. And so the perfume, this special concoction, kept them from getting sick and getting the infectious disease. So this little bottle is called Thieves. And I just, I love the story. And so Mike Rayburn, my buddy, and Tara Rayburn, who's my drug dealer, <laughs> Uh, I had gotten sick and I just realizing, you know, I'm going home, getting on a plane and there's going to be a lot of people who are sick on the plane, going there, coming back and it costs me money whenever I get sick, like because I'm not as productive and things don't happen. So I didn't even ask the price, didn't even matter. I'm like, okay, because Mike says he just takes a little dab of this and puts it right here uh, and he never gets sick. So A, credibility. B, the story, the name Thieves, I was like, that's cool. And I had heard the story before, but what happened was the inciting incident. I was getting sick, and I'm like, yep, I don't care what it costs. It costs me too much whenever I get sick. So I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. So I, I got the bottle for the trip, and but I always loved the story. I had heard the story of this um, concoction before, and I always remembered it. And so what's the story that gets people to remember your product, your service, or your idea? So in the middle of your presentation, what's the story that helps sell the idea or put a new perspective in your audience's mind? I still remember listening in the old days, uh, listening to Zig Ziglar, and he would talk about selling. And that was one of his things. And he used to sell China. And he had all these different patterns. And there would always be like four... I think it was like four different patterns that he would sold. And there was one of them that was just not, was the lowest seller of all of them. So him and his buddies at work, they got together and they said, we need a better story to sell this pattern. So they came up with a better story to sell that. And that became the highest selling pattern. So it was the story behind the product, behind the idea that matters. So I love the story behind Thieves. Uh, you can contact Tara Rayburn if you want to know more. But anyway, I'm I'm sold. I'm trying it. I'm testing it out. So thank you, Tara Rayburn. Thank you, Mike Rayburn, uh, for being the example. But it, I just thought it was just such a great example of a story that helps sell something. Again, we're always selling ideas or thoughts or or products. So the ideas or thoughts that you're selling, what's the story behind it? Uh, if you're a Russell Brunson fan, he talks about your Epiphany Bridge story. That story that takes you from over here to here. And so sit back and think of all the points you're trying to make in your presentations or even in each video. What's that one story you can connect in that video that will kind of help sell the idea and make it memorable? So hope that helps. Keep it going through the holidays. 
uh, collect stories from your family. When you, if you visit family and friends, ask them, hey, what were those crazy, silly stories from when we were younger? And you'll probably find some gold uh, that can go in your presentation. So uh, off to Boston to see mom and dad, my nephew and my sister. So safe travels, happy Thanksgiving, and keep up with the challenge. And if you're not doing the challenge, I would request that you encourage other people who are doing the challenge because it's a stretch to do this consistently. So uh, please comment. If you see someone else doing a challenge, please comment too. It's really encouraging. I, and I, I really appreciate any comments. Uh, it keeps me going, let, letting, people, letting people know, uh, letting me know that people are listening. So have a great holiday. Take care. And Thieves, what's your story behind it?